Welcome to the two-minute drill here in Inside the Auburn Tigers. Jason Caldwell and Mark Murphy from Inside the Auburn Tigers magazine and newsletters and AUTigers.com. And Mark, uh, a couple of days removed from uh, from the what, no other way to describe it, a collapse at LSU. And you look uh, this Auburn team. You have to turn around and play again. Uh, you got to get back on the on the road and, and go to Arkansas, a team that's struggling themselves, but they're going to have their backs to the wall and come out fighting on Saturday. But the mindset of this team is going to be interesting to watch to see how the Tigers come out Saturday. Yeah, these players know they should have won that game they probably should have won it by a couple touchdowns you know if they'd done that Auburn would be undefeated in the SEC 4-0 in the league they'd probably be ranked 7 or 8 in the country this week and uh, people would be talking about uh, getting ready for the big rivalry games coming up and then of course Texas A&M too after the the bye week but uh, you know this is going to be one of the big challenges for Gus Malzahn and his staff getting these guys mentally ready to go out and play in Fayetteville. And we've seen some good Auburn teams go out there and not play particularly well and get upset at Fayetteville. And uh, you know this is not a vintage Arkansas team by any means, but they can go out and play loose and aggressive because they, they have nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing to lose for this Arkansas team. And, you know, you, you got to think that for them, 56-3 to last year at Durham-Hare Stadium, a game that was over with really the first offensive play for Auburn. It was all downhill for Arkansas after that. Um, a, a, a team that, you know, Brad Bielema, 10-25 and in conference games since he arrived at Arkansas. It's, you know, you start talking about important games for coaches. This is obviously an important game on both sides of the ball for Auburn-Arkansas Saturday, Mark. And I think it means no holds barred and uh, no punches pulled. They're going to be – throw everything out there. I agree, and uh, why not? And, you know, Arkansas is making a lot of changes, Jason. They're changing their offensive line around. Uh, they're probably going to have their supersized backup redshirt freshman quarterback in there, and, you know, he's got a lot of potential. So, you know, it's certainly a dangerous game. Last time Auburn went out there, uh, lost in four overtimes in a wild game, 54. I think 46 was the final score. So, uh, you know, Auburn needs to go out there prepared, ready to play at a high level. Mark, I think it's something that this team has done uh, really for the most part since Clemson. I mean, uh, you know, you look at Mercer was the turnovers, but they went out and, and played. Uh, they did it for a quarter and a half against LSU. We'll see if this Auburn team can respond to go on the road once again and to deliver a performance uh, worthy of a win. Jason Caldwell and Mark Murphy inside the Auburn Tigers.